How's it going guys? All right, making this quick. So hinges are back on. I put them on the cowl instead of putting them on the uh, hood first, just because honestly it felt easier to do because uh, getting up underneath this cowl is a pain in the ass. So I got them on there, uh, completely stripped them of paint and rust and everything else, uh, primered them, painted them. They're good to go. Um, and then I painted them while they're hanging out on the truck. Uh, I know when I painted some of this cowl, I got some of my hose, but okay, so when I knocked out the hot rivets, I replaced them with these little bad boys. They're uh, 5 16 uh, two and a quarter inch length, so it has a long enough shaft to go all the way through so the hinge can keep articulating. And then what was left over on the threads, I just zipped off after I had the lock nut on there. So it looks not the best, but it won't rust anymore and it'll last. So there's that. <coughs> as far as the hood goes, oh. Hi little guys, got some Valstom covers and I'm painting them. Anyway, as far as the hood goes, it's done. I just gotta wait to get another body to, to hook it up and put it up. So there she is, she got all cleaned out, all the rust off her, uh, primed her, painted her uh, with a couple coats and uh, she's good. So now my inside of my hood is also 3-8-3 green, rust free and looking good. Uh, eventually I got a stencil on the warning. If I feel like it, I might get a little cheeky with it. Instead of putting, you know, war warning, secure with hood raised position, use the hood. No, I'm probably going to put something in there like, watch out, this thing will crush your fucking head or something like that. Just because uh, it's a little bit more fun that way. So, yep, there's that. So, I got to throw that up on the uh, on the truck, and that's that's about it. Oh, uh, one more thing real quick. As I walk back and forth. Uh, I got these little fuckers, and it looks like crap trash right now. Uh, but I got the pull cord hooked up for my uh, uh, air tank uh, vent so I can release it with a pull cord instead of going underneath here with a pair of vice grips every time I uh, finish driving for the day. So that'll be a lot better. They look like ass and trash right now, but I'm probably gonna hook up something coming through here with a nice rubber grommet so I can just pull on the cord. So, yep, I'll throw up another video once I do that. But that's where she's at. Getting better. All right, bye.